The coronavirus pandemic is the most serious challenge Queensland has faced in our lifetime. None of us have ever experienced anything like this before. People are rightfully worried about their health, their loved ones and their jobs. If we do not all follow the advice we are given, many lives will be lost. Please do the right thing for your sake and for everyone else in your community. I'm concerned about the thousands of Queenslanders, maybe tens of thousands, who are losing their jobs right now. This health crisis is becoming a jobs crisis. Those workers don't know how they will pay their bills, buy food and provide for their families. They're scared and Queensland needs to help them and help them fast. Since we first heard about coronavirus, the LNP has been demanding more support for Queensland businesses to protect jobs. 10 days ago, we set out exactly what we would do to get our economy through this. The LNP is calling on immediate freezing of power bills, car rego and water bills to provide relief, cut payroll tax for nine months to save jobs, fast track road upgrades across the state to keep people working, provide payments to individuals in isolation and for the state government to pay small businesses faster to help with cash flow. Other states have stepped up and so has the federal Morrison government. But we are still waiting for the Palaszczuk Labor government to respond. I'm sorry, but it is not good enough. Not when Queenslanders are losing their jobs and businesses are collapsing. This government needs to get its act together today. This health crisis is fast becoming a jobs crisis. The LNP has put up a plan to protect jobs. We just need the Premier to back it and we will work with the current government to make it happen. Our priority is saving lives and saving livelihoods. In suburbs and towns across Queensland, communities are working together to get through this crisis. But we need the Queensland Government to do its part too. I know that if we all work together, from the Premier down, Queensland will get through this and come out stronger than ever before.